The combination of Twitter and iOS Dev Happy Hour is the best way to network as an iOS developer in this post-COVID remote work world. And your network is insanely valuable, whether that's getting a job or finding good people to hire, having other developers to bounce ideas off of. There's just so much value in building a good network. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Twitter in tandem with iOS Dev Happy Hour to build those relationships that will lead to that strong network. iOS Dev Happy Hour is a monthly Zoom call with about 100 devs that show up, ranging from all experience levels, from just learning, just beginning, to you know, 10 plus year veterans. And most people that show up do come from a non-traditional background or they're self-taught, so all are welcome. Now, if you're thinking, a 100 person Zoom call? Yeah, I'm good, no thanks. I get it, that's exactly what I thought and why I was hesitant to join, but they do it very well, where they have these smaller, breakout rooms, roughly 10 people, and you rotate into different breakout rooms with different topics every 30 minutes. And there's a host in those rooms to facilitate the conversation, that way it's just not 10 random people you know, staring at each other. This event was started by Alan here, as you can see from this kind of random tweet, and in a sense grown over the years, so much so that they're having live events at WWDC that even included a private screening of the WWDC keynote in a rented theater. Like That's a pretty cool event. And of course, iOS Dev Happy Hour is free to attend, there's no cost. So now let me tell you how to use Twitter in tandem with iOS Dev Happy Hour to build that network. But essentially, you wanna use Twitter as the icebreaker. By that, I mean follow a bunch of iOS devs and genuinely interact with their tweets. Because developers are typically posting about what they're working on, what they're learning, so there's plenty of opportunity to chime in. And if you do this long enough, you'll start to get to know a lot of developers, even the ones with larger followings, like myself. There are people who consistently interact with my content, whether that's you know, liking, retweeting, commenting, replying, whatever. And I know those people by name and face or avatar. So when I see them at iOS Dev Happy Hour, this is what I meant by Twitter's the icebreaker, it's not you know, like when you walk up to a party and you don't know anyone and it's kind of weird and awkward. Well, when you've interacted on Twitter, it's like, oh, hey, what's up, how you doing? You know, it's good to see you. You have that warm relationship and you're off and running with the conversation, right? So Twitter is a great icebreaker for when you meet them at iOS Dev Happy Hour. So how that works is you just keep doing this month after month. You're gonna be building deeper relationships with the same people. You're also gonna be adding new people that you're building deeper relationships. And before you know it, after you know, six months to a year of doing this, you're gonna have amassed a pretty nice network of iOS developers. So start interacting on Twitter and then come to iOS Dev Happy Hour. The next event is this Saturday. I'll be there, hope to see you.